Eco 4 for a resident uh, generally unwell. Uh, we were able to bring our stretcher right into the residence. Um, look at the patient. Uh, he is tracking me with his eyes. Uh, he sees me, he's kind of hunched over a bit, uh, looking pale, diaphoretic, a um, little short of breath. Um, looking at my environment, it looks pretty safe. Uh, it's just a general bedroom. Looking around to see if he has any medications or anything that can be indicative of what this patient might have um, in his general moral state. PPE wise, we're going to put our gloves on and mask just to see if he's sick or not. Um, mechanism of injury, not quite sure. One patient, uh, not going to alert additional resources. So I approach the patient. Hello, sir. I'm Mitch, I'm a paramedic student. Can I help you today? Uh, yeah. Okay, can you uh, open your mouth for me, please? Just want to see. Checking his airway is Peyton. Um, it seems like he's short of breath. My partner's going to put on SpO2 to see what his O2 stat is. Checking his pulse just to see if it's uh, what it feels like. It, it appears to be tacky and rapid. Patient appears short of breath. I uh, just want to auscultate your lungs, sir. I just want to see what's going on here. Going to auscultate the patient's lung just to make sure that uh, his confused state or the way he's feeling right now isn't derived from his uh, respiratory. Uh, I'm going to do a six-point auscultation just to hear um, if there's any abnormal conditions uh, or uneven uh, breathing sounds. Um, and upon auscultation, I hear uh, equal air entry by bilateral. Um, partner, can you get a baseline set of vital signs for me? Um, in that vital sign search, can you look for pupils? Um, what is GC I'll get his GCS. Yep. Um, also, his respirate heart rate, uh, blood pressure, and uh, blood glucose as well. Uh, um, upon assessment of the level of consciousness or level of awareness of our patient, he uh, appears to be a GCS of 15, appears to track me with his eyes, he's obeying commands. And um, so sir, can you tell me why you called us today? Uh, I sort of I, I took my insulin and I didn't eat for a while. Oh, you took your insulin? That. So, can you tell me, are you diabetic? Yeah, I'm diabetic. Okay, and when was it you ate your last meal today? Uh, five hours ago. Five hours ago? Okay, and you did take insulin? Uh, yeah. Okay, and before you took your insulin, what did you take your blood sugar? Uh, yeah. And how long ago was that? I took my blood sugar probably three hours ago. Okay, and what was your blood sugar before? Uh, 6.4. 6.4? 6 Okay, um, and so when you called us, how long have you been feeling the way you've been feeling? Um, not long. No, not long? Uh, did it come on suddenly? Uh, after I gave myself all the insulin and I Okay, and the pizza hasn't come yet? No. Okay. So tell me, have you ever felt like this before? Uh, yeah, when well, my blood sugar is really low. Okay, so what did you do in, when that happened? Uh, I usually just eat something, but I'm just too weak to get up and get something right now. Okay, and would you say this is compared to something you felt like before? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, just take a look at your mouth again. Uh, patient appears to be telling the truth, just looking to see if he had any uh, food in his mouth or not, um, just to see if it improves his symptoms or not. Um, are you taking any other medications right now? Uh, no, just my insulin. Just your insulin? And have you been sick at all lately? Uh, no. No? And what have you done in the last Let's say 12 hours. Have you? How many meals have you had? Last 12 hours. Yeah. One, two. Only two. And uh, normal diet-wise, is it normal for you to wait five hours in between meals? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, have you been physical at all this, today? Uh, no. No. Have you? Um, yeah, so you haven't exercised at all? No. Have you been drinking a lot of water? Uh, no, not really. No, not really. So as I'm asking the patient these questions, he seems to be alert and talking to me. Um, just looking for some visual assessment findings when I'm looking at the patient. So things like his skin condition, like I stated earlier. Um, just looking at his body to see if he's overweight or not, or underweight, they can both be indicative of an endocrine, um, something going on with his endocrine system. Um, just looking to see if he's trembling or not, if he's slurred his speech. Uh, patients may appear like they are intoxicated. Uh, where I can ask the patient, have you taken alcohol or any toxins at all today or in the last 48 hours? No. Um, looking uh, just at his general um, level of consciousness, seems to be aware. Um, he has no memory loss. He's answering questions pretty well. Uh, seems to be uh, a little coordinated, but just by tracking me with his eyes. Um, and 
Uh, a lot of times patients can appear to have stroke-like symptoms, um, but we'll find that out later in our neurological assessment, um, and I will get my vital signs from my partner. So vitals, uh, respirator 20, regular. Um, pupils are five millimeters pearl. Heart rate's 109, weak and rapid. Blood pressure is 109 on 74. Blood glucose came back at 2.8, and SpO2 is at 92%. Okay, so a patient appears to have pretty normal vital signs. The only vital sign that seems to be appearing um, is his blood glucose level, which is 2.8. Um, in this regard, you need to understand that blood glucose level is important uh, as the brain and time are important as well. Um, so the symptoms of hypoglycemia will happen uh, pretty rapid in onset within minutes. Okay, going to perform a neurological assessment on the patient. This is just to rule out stroke-like symptoms and ensure that uh, the patient is only experiencing uh, symptoms like hypoglycemia. Okay, sir, I'm gonna ask you, can you open your mouth for me? Can you stick your tongue out? Can you put it to the right? Can you put it to the left? Okay, can you close your mouth? Can you wiggle your jaw for me? Can you raise your eyebrows? Okay, uh, okay can you feel me touching yeah. your shoulder? Okay. Can you feel it touching your ear? Okay, all right, can you stick your hands up for me? Okay, can you squeeze both hands? Patient appears to have strength in both hands. Can you lift my hands up to the sky? Strength in both arms. Uh, I'm just gonna lift the shirt up. Can you feel what I'm touching right here? Okay, okay, just making sure looking at the stomach, there's nothing going on there. Um, can you feel me touching your legs? Okay, um, patient has Shoes where I can feel his toes. Can you wiggle your toes for me? Can you lift my hands towards you? Good. Can you bend your right leg for me? Can you bend your left leg for me. Okay. Basically, just doing a basic neurological assessment, just to make sure there's no trembling or any stroke-like symptoms for the patient. Um, we're doing this all just to help differentiate whether or not um, the patient is paying attention to me and is able to obey commands. Um, and there's no unilateral changes within the patient.